that's here waiting on the vet to come out and get these pups. I'm sure y'all vet probably do a very similar thing. Our vets ain't, uh, they're not letting nobody in right now. So, you want to see the vet, you just go ahead. That shit out here in Wizzy. That's what I'm on. I got slick and I got pie. Two of the uh dink of the I'm not keeping neither one well slick is our keeper, but he's not staying in my house, he's staying in my relative's house. Now my cousin, my relative, he call him uh ghost. Which I think is whack for him, you know, if it was a um he was white or something, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just don't think it fit him. I think Slick fits him better. He's kind of named, this is a, uh, this is pie right here. What's up, girl? Heavy on the grand champion and balls. Nice red boy Jocko. Cross with a small boils out. Yeah. That's pie. This right here is Slick. Huh. Slick's named after his sire. His sire's name is uh, Mandinka Slick. So we got Slick, and we got Pi. Mine stayed with the mom a little longer. I think that's why she's chunkier. You know what I mean? More of that, that, that natural milk. She stayed with the mom maybe 10, 10 days longer, or something like that. But we here at the vet, waiting on them to come on out and get these dogs, get these puppies. Fascinating. Like I always say, if you see any of my videos, I be stressing paperwork, man. And I'm not talking registration. I'm talking paperwork signed by a doctor that says you take care of your puppies, man. Take care of your animals. I just feel like if them people ever get in your business, vet bills, vet records, fuck a vet bill, vet records will help your case. You know, it'll make it very clear that you're taking care of them animals. And that'll go a long way. At least I think it will. You know, I, ain't, I ain't never had them problems. Nah, I had a small piece of them problems. Animal control, uh, I was working my dog one day and somebody called and said I was hanging them off on there, some shit. But animal control came, yada, yada, yada. They took my dog, had my bitch 10 days, man. They was, we were about ready to go to court. I went and got a lawyer. I still got the lawyer. Fuck it. I just retained it. Retained the lawyer. Because if you're going to be lying on me and shit, you know what I mean? Like one day they came to my house talking about somebody told them uh, I let my dog kill their cat. Come on, man. I'm 46. My days of letting dogs kill cats, neighborhood cats, are long, long over. You would have to catch up to me in my 20s. Now I'm in my 20s. I can tell you some strange shit. I didn't deal with these dogs. But anywho, I'm just killing time, man. Talking shit to y'all. About to take my weed butter. Now I don't know if I told y'all, but I'm a uh, I'm a chronic chronic weed smoker, man. I've been smoking weed since I was actually older than a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all probably been smoking weed since you was real young. I think I started smoking weed at about 17, but I've smoked weed pretty much every single day since. Then. And I'm a plug thug, so I got access to, to real high quality weed. But the thing I do now is I make my own weed butter. And I just put it on my food. Like I just got to eating. Well, I still got some food back there, but it's not really hot no more. So I'm gonna do this, which is disgusting. I'm just gonna take some of this butter and swallow it. It's fucking disgusting. Well, I mean, you don't really taste it. It's just, it don't just taste super nasty, but it's just the thought of it. It's just swallowing some butter. Cause that's all it really is, is butter with weed. Basically. You let the you know you let the weed soak in the in the butter, trying to soak up the THC. You gotta have it at a certain temperature, whatever. But I make my own. Then I got this probiotic shot to help break the shit down. You know, since it's cold, put it in there. A little glam. That's, that looks like a lot, huh? Yeah. I'm be hiding a mother. I flopped on pond, be making my bills, I be talking all slow and shit. 
I be high as hell. I miss smoking weed though, but my, my stomach, man, I got a, a little condition with my stomach called irritable bowel syndrome. You know, I don't get constipated and I don't get uh, diarrhea. I just get pain. I don't know what happens when I eat the wrong things or when I smoke. It fucks me up. Too much butter fucks me up. I do this for 20 days in a row. Ah, this don't taste good either. I think it's mostly apple cider vinegar. Ah. Ah. These little things cost four damn dollars. But I use them to carry my pot in. Fuck it. Alright, I'm gonna I'm I'm uh, log out, y'all. Six minutes in.